Whether you have dead pixels, a dusty sensor, smearing of light from a greasy lens, or a dog decides that your camera looks particularly tasty. Oh no, does she lick it? This video will guide you through the easy fixes and help prolong the life of your equipment. Cleaning kits are extremely cheap and should be easily accessible from your camera bag. Do not wipe with your top or breathe on your lens to clean it. This introduces oils and fluids that can cause smearing of light in your video, even though the lens and looks clean. You only need a microfiber cloth, lens cleaning fluid, an air blower, and sensor cleaning swabs. If you have significant marks on your video or photo, it's most likely a dirty sensor. Sensors appear delicate specialists to clean, but in reality it's easy and you're gonna struggle to damage it accidentally. Take your lens off, keeping your sensor and rear element face down. First, I like to dislodge as much dust from the internals as possible using an air blower. Your camera may also have a cleaning function. Hold its sensor down and open, then start the cleaning process. It will shake the sensor aggressively and hopefully eject most of the particles. These steps are often a good fix if you don't have swabs or time to clean. Then simply open your swab, check it fits your sensor and wipe across. Moving on to your lens, some rear elements are quite deep, so use a light to inspect them and a sensor swab to clean them. For front elements and filters, simply air, spray, wipe, air. You can hold the filters to the sky or a light to check. For the external camera body and outer lens, a simple wipe down is fine and helps prevent dust buildup falling onto sensors and glass in the first place. You can also have unresponsive photosites on the sensor that look like dead pixels. Try remapping the sensor. If this doesn't work, try a different lens. If the marks remain in the same place with everything mentioned in this video, it's time to see a specialist. If you notice dust inside the lens elements and it's actually affecting your image after cleaning all the rest of your camera, it's time to get it cleaned by a specialist. With everything clean, the best course of action is to prevent dirt from getting into your camera in the first place. Some cameras allow the shutter to be closed when off, helping protect the center during lens swaps. Turn this on if you have it. The sensor and real elements are the hardest to clean. So when you swap lenses, make sure that these are face down to prevent dust from landing on them. But ultimately dirt is unavoidable and unpredictable. So make sure you have the basic cheap cleaning kit easily accessible in an external pocket to allow you to clean and return to your shoot as soon as possible. See you soon. Right.